and wise. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C55. The ultraviolet index forecast for February 9th is 4, or moderate. This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K East C-56. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Hill, Hood, Hunt, Kaufman, Parker, Rockwall, and Tarrant. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C-56. The ultraviolet index forecast for February 9th is 4, or moderate. This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K West or 34. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Anderson, Cherokee, Freestone, Henderson, Houston, and Leon, and Navarro. This concludes the test of weather radio station K West or 34. The ultraviolet index forecast for February 9th is 4, or moderate. This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station West XK35. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bell, Bosky, Coriel, Falls, Hill, Limestone, McLennan, Milam, and Robertson. 
This concludes the test of weather radio station West XK35. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Virginia beginning at 11.30 a.m. and ending at 12.30 p.m. A required weekly test has been issued for all Virginia. Tune to your local TV or radio station. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is Franklin County Emergency Management conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system. If this were an actual emergency, this system would bring you important information. The following tones will conclude this test. This is a test of the National Weather Service hazardous weather warning system. You can hear warnings direct from the National Weather Service over the No Weather Radio All Hazard System. The test of this warning system on No Weather Radio All Hazards are made each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. When there is a possibility of severe weather, the test will be delayed until the next good weather day. The No Weather Radio All Hazard System is equipped with a warning service called SAME. This is short for Specific Area Message Encoder. SAME allows people with special receivers to be notified of watches and or warnings affecting only the county desired. SAME radios are especially useful for schools, hospitals, businesses, government agencies, radio, and health. This has been a test. At the end of this test, regular programming will resume. Walked it back. I mean, he simply said that these are merely complaints that the ethics committee is, is looking at. But as far as we can tell, we know that there were uh, uh, complaints uh, submitted by representatives Richie Torres and Logan. This is a routine warning test of the National Weather Service's NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm System. This test is normally conducted during each Wednesday morning between 11 a.m. and noon. If there is severe weather in the area or threatening the area, the test is then postponed until the next good weather day. There is no severe weather in the area at this time. Repeating once again, this is a routine warning test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm System. This concludes the test. Now, the voters do have power here this is a routine morning test of the National Weather Service's NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm System. This test is normally conducted during each Wednesday morning between 11 a.m. and noon. If there is severe weather in the area or threatening the area, the test is then postponed until the next good weather day. There is no severe weather in the area at this time. Repeating once again, this is a routine morning test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm System. The statement is, for the following counties, in Kentucky, Casey, Lincoln, Marion, and Taylor. What? Southwest winds 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 65 miles per hour. Where? Portions of East Central, North Central, and South Central Kentucky. When? Until 4 p.m. this afternoon. Impacts, damaging winds will blow down trees and power lines. Widespread power outages are expected. Travel will be difficult, especially for high-profile vehicles. People should avoid being outside in forested areas and around trees and branches. If possible, remain in the lower levels of your home during the windstorm and avoid windows. Use caution if you must drive.
repeating, a high wind warning has been issued until 4 p.m. for the following counties, in Kentucky, Casey, Lincoln, Marion, and Taylor. The statement is, for the following counties, in Kentucky, Knox, Laurel, McCreary, Pulaski, Rock Castle, Wayne, and Whitley. Wind advisory remains in effect until 7 p.m. this evening. What? Southwest winds 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts of 35 to 45 miles per hour will continue through early this evening. Where? Portions of East Central, Northeast, South Central and Southeast Kentucky. When? Until 7 p.m. this evening. Impacts. Gusty winds could blow around unsecured objects. Tree limbs could be blown down and a few power outages may result. Use extra caution when driving, especially if operating a high-profile vehicle. Secure outdoor objects. Repeating, a wind advisory remains in effect until 7 p.m. for the following counties, in Kentucky, Knox, Laurel, McCreary, Pulaski, Rock Castle, Wayne and Whitley. The statement is, for the following counties, in Kentucky, Casey, Lincoln, Marion and Taylor. High wind warning in effect until 4 p.m. this afternoon. What? Southwest winds 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 65 miles an hour. Where? Portions of East Central, North Central and South Central Kentucky. When? Until 4 p.m. this afternoon. Impacts. Damaging winds will blow down trees and power lines. Widespread power outages are expected. Travel will be difficult, especially for high-profile vehicles. People should avoid being outside in forested areas and around trees and branches. If possible, remain in the lower levels of your home during the windstorm and avoid windows. Use caution if you must drive. The statement is, for the following counties, in Kentucky, Adair, Clinton, Green, Metcalf and Russell. Wind advisory remains in effect until 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. Central Standard Time this evening. What? Southwest winds 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts of 45 to 55 miles per hour expected. Where? Portions of South Central when? Until 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. Central Standard Time this evening. Impacts. Gusty winds could blow around unsecured objects. Tree limbs could be blown down and a few power outages may result. Use extra caution when driving, especially if operating a high-profile vehicle. Secure outdoor objects. Repeating, a wind advisory remains in effect until 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties in Kentucky, Adair, Clinton, Green, Metcalf, and Russell. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is a test. This station is conducting a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This has been a test of the emergency alert system. The broadcasters of Wisconsin, in cooperation with federal, state, and local authorities, have developed this system to keep you informed during an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, you would have received official information, news, or instructions. This concludes this weekly test of the emergency alert system. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Otter Tail MN, beginning at 4.11 p.m. and ending at 4.41 p.m. This is a test from the Otter Tail County Sheriff's Office. This is only a test. No further action is required. The 
ultraviolet index forecast for February 10th is 2 or low. Service Office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K East C55. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bosque, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Urath, Hill, Hood, Johnson, Parker, Somerville, Tarrant, and Wise. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C55. The ultraviolet index forecast for February 10th is 2 or low. Weather Service Office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K East C-56. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Hill, Hood, Hunt, Kaufman, Parker, Rockwall, and Tarrant. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C-56. The ultraviolet index forecast for February 10th is 2 or low. This is the National Weather Service Office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K West North 34. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Anderson, Cherokee, Freestone, Henderson, Houston, and Leon, and Navarro. This concludes the test of weather radio station K West North 34.
ultraviolet index forecast for February 10th is 2, or low. This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station West XK35. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bell, Bosque, Oriel, Falls, Hill, Limestone, McLennan, Milam, and Robertson. This concludes the test of weather radio station West XK35. Service in Gray, Maine, has activated the New Hampshire Emergency Alert System in order to conduct the required monthly test. That concludes this required monthly test under the New Hampshire Emergency Alert System.